Tennis Coach, your instructional guide to tennis. Today's tips will be over your serving techniques and how you can better ace your opponent. We'll study two techniques today. One is called the Trophy Pose and the other is called the Cobra Strike. The first technique I'm going to show you is called the Trophy Pose. Now you may be asking yourself, what exactly is the Trophy Pose? Well, it's exactly how it sounds. It's posing just as if you were standing on top of a trophy. That means holding your arm up in the air straight for longer than you would normally do. So that would look something like this. Instead of your normal serve, which may drop the arm sooner. Now the reason for doing the trophy pose is to hold your arm up longer and that will enable you to get a better serve. What most people do is drop their arm too soon and that leads to their serving arm or the arm with the racket in it to come forward too soon which will catch the ball too high or if you've tossed it low it'll catch it too low putting it into the net or over the fence and we don't want that so I will show you a few examples of how the trophy pose is supposed to look Now that you've learned the trophy pose, let's move on to something else that involves your actual racket. This move is called the Cobra Strike. And you may be asking yourself again, what is the Cobra Strike? Well, it's something with your serving arm, the one with the racket in it, it just dangles behind you during your serve and your toss. This will enable you to come up and snap at the ball at its highest point. So that will look something like this. Off. Strike! Do you see how my arm was dangling there? Let's do it again. You toss, arm dangles, strike! Just like that. Now, I'll combine the Cobra Strike and the Trophy Pose in a few serves for you all to watch. Now that you have learned both the trophy pose and the cobra strike and also learned how to combine them into one smooth fluid motion, you should see a great increase in your first serve percentage. So go ahead and take this method out and ace your opponents or at least place the serve better. The good thing about this is it will put your first serve percentage way up there and everybody knows when your first serve is in, you're playing a lot better because you're not relying on that second serve and the rest of your game so much. So, from all of us here at the Tennis Coach, thanks for watching and please check back later for more video tutorials.